For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how you can use a short press versus a long press on a single button inside of CircuitPython. This is super useful when you have a limited amount of user interface inputs, such as a device with a single button or a couple buttons, and you want to be able to switch, say, between different modes, which is really, really useful on limited UIs. So here I can show you in action. When I press this button on my Circuit Playground Express, I will advance one position on my little ring of NeoPixels. And I'll have to move my thumb so you can see around to the other side there. Now, if I want to switch the color of that, I'm using the exact same button. I'm just pressing and holding. If I press and hold for half a second, I go up to a different color selection. So the single short press, you can see it there printing out, says short press. If I click and hold, we switch over to a new color. Switch and hold, new color, switch and hold, new color, short press, and we advance. So the way you do this is a subset of the debouncer library. So inside the debouncer library, you can import buttons. So if you look at my code here, it says from Adafruit debouncer, import button. You set this up pretty much like a normal button, uh, except here I say button, I give it the button pin that we're using, and then I tell it how long to count in milliseconds to consider something a long duration press. Then down here in my main code, I'm using button update, pretty similar to debouncer. If the short count, which is when it senses you've pressed the button but not held it for a long duration, if that short count happens, then I'm doing one thing, which is really just advancing to the next NeoPixel. If, however, it detects a long press, so if button.long press, then we're doing something else, which is changing to the next color in my little list of colors. So here you can see in action, I can do a short press to advance to new NeoPixels, press and hold, and I change the color. And so that is how you can use a short press versus a long press inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.